Phoenix, Phoenix, Arizona. This is a fries food store distribution center. This thing is huge. Easily, they easily have. I'm going to say a conservative estimate 500 trailers at least 100 trucks all moving around making deliveries or picking up or yeah swapping trailers all kind of stuff going on over here. These people here pretty much uh, feed the city of Phoenix and, and areas uh, nearby. I don't think that the 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 video does any justice to how huge this place is. I mean, I'm only filming from my vantage point, which is obstructed by all those trailers that you see in front of you. There's another row of trailers in front of it. And in front of those, there are uh, trucks backed into the building making deliveries or picking up or like I said, whatever. There's a lot of activity going on over here. Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for them to give me a call to assign me a dock so that they can start unloading me. From here, I'm gonna supposedly pick up a load in Yuma that delivers close to where I live over there by, uh, yeah, in California. So anyway, I just thought I'd film this and give uh, people kind of a, a little perspective of how huge these distribution centers are. Barely see. I mean, it's so huge, man. I mean, you got people driving around in golf carts because <laughs> uh, there goes there goes the golf cart. Security drives around in golf carts, make sure nobody's damaging anything. They're really strict. You gotta wear the the fluorescent uh, safety vest, and they want you to have your uh, four-way signals on. Even though it's broad daylight, like <laughs> at night, I understand it. But and yeah, this place doesn't shut down 24/7. This thing is going 24/7. Hey, you people! If truckers, if truckers were to ever go on strike, this is just one little. This is just a speck of uh, the stuff that goes on around, man. Can you imagine if truckers were to go on strike, man? <laughs> it would be, it would be crazy. But yeah, truckers won't go on strike. Don't worry. I don't want nobody freaking out. But uh, yeah, this place is huge. Like I said, man, it goes way back there. I'm not even giving you guys like, I mean, that building right there, it doesn't end where you see, where you see, where you see that, oh, we are hiring. Uh, trucking companies are always looking for drivers. You guys out there that, you know, might be looking for a, you know, for a gig. Truck driving isn't for everyone, but uh, I really do enjoy it. I enjoy it. I enjoy being out on there on the road. 
I enjoy uh, sleeping back there in my my little bunk. Waking up in the middle of the night trying to figure out where the hell did I park. I don't even know what city I'm in, what state or whatever. So yeah. Uh, I'm waiting on a phone call. So these peoples could tell me where to back in so I can make my delivery. I've been out on the road too long. I don't like being out here this long. This this trip took me. I'm still at home, so I shouldn't even be counting my chickens yet. But I've been out here uh, since uh, what's today? Today's a uh, Monday. This Thursday coming up will be exactly three weeks when I left California. This upcoming Thursday, three weeks. And I don't like. I, I don't. I only like staying out ten days at the most, and then I start panicking. Uh, I, I like my home time. Anyway, this is what it is. Thanks for watching.